Welcome to ProjeCAD Basics for Beginners. This is Plotting, Printing, and Electronic Output. To find links to any downloadable resources available for this video, make sure to check the description box below. For this lesson, I'm going to be using the supplied sample drawing named AEC Project Plan Sample which I already have open. Before we get started, I want to address the title of this video. It could have been simply called Printing. In ProjeCAD, the term plotting and printing means essentially the same thing. Many people refer to large format printing as plotting because of the old plotters that were used before laser technology. And electronic output? That's just referring to creating a graphic file, such as a PDF or DWF. You go about that the same way as plotting or printing. Okay, with that being said, there are many variables involved with printing in ProjeCAD. I'm going to be discussing the most common methods. One can be done from either model space or paper space, and it's a method that should always give you quality output. The primary method to print in ProjeCAD is to use paper space layouts. Hopefully, you've seen the previous video in this series, which is all about layouts. Again, the whole purpose of a layout is to emulate the printed drawing. Instead of using the supplied layout, we'll be creating our own. I've already created a new layout and have inserted my title block at full scale. Right away, you'll notice that the white area that represents your plotting size is way too small. The first thing we have to do is initialize or tell the program what size and printing method we want to use. We do that by using the Page Setup Manager. I'll access it via the print flyout in the application menu, or by right-clicking on the layout and starting it from there. The Page Setup Manager dialog will display. We want to make a new page setup that we can apply to our other layouts, or import into other drawings, so I'll click on Add. And give it a name. When I click OK, the Add Page Setup dialog appears. Remember what it looks like, as it is also the print dialog. As you can see, there are a lot of things you can configure, but we're storing everything we set into this named page setup. The first thing we need to do is specify the printer to use. It will default to your system printer, which is all I have, so let's create a PDF instead. I'll select ProjeCAD PDF High Quality from the pull-down. Notice that the thumbnail preview changes when I do. The next thing we have to do is specify the size which is basically the size of your title block border. Mine is an architectural D size, which is 24 by 36 inches. I'll scroll down and select that. Next, we define our print area. We're doing this to be able to print our layout, so I'll select that. Notice when I do, some of the other settings become grayed out. I'll get back to those in a bit. Next, I'll choose the pin assignment table to use. This drawing uses style tables, or STBs. ProjeCAD also supports the more popular color table files, or CTBs. Finally, this title block is oriented as landscape, so I'll choose that. Our new page setup should show up in the manager list now. I'll select it and click on Set Current to apply it to this layout. I'll close the dialog and you'll see that the white plot area now extends throughout my entire title block. As a refresher, I'll quickly add a viewport, scale it, and lock it. First, I'll choose a non-plotting layer for it, then draw a single floating viewport. I'll activate it, set it to 1 quarter inch equals 1 foot, and lock it. Now, it's time to demonstrate printing our layout. From the application menu, I'll select print. This will display the print dialog, which should look familiar now. Notice that since we applied our page setup to this layout, it automatically uses that page setup, with all of its settings ready to go. Since this is the first time using this page setup, it might be a good idea to do a preview first. I'll click on the preview button at the bottom, and a separate print preview window will display. I'll close the preview, but I could also go ahead and print from here. I'm good to go, so I'll click OK. Since we're creating a PDF file, 
I'll be presented with a file save dialog, which has a default name. I'll accept this and the PDF will be created. If I was going to a print or plot device, it would go directly to that device. Here's the good news. The page setups for a project should be created within the template file that you'll be using for that project. In the end, all you'll have to do is start the print command, make sure the correct page setup is chosen, and go. You may have multiple page setups to choose from, with one being the default. Those setups might be for different printers, different sizes like half size or an 11 by 17, whatever your projects need. As I said, there are other ways to print. I'll go back to model space to demonstrate. Again, I'll launch the print dialog. When the D size layout was printed, we got an actual 24 by 36 inch file and accurately scaled. Sometimes that's not what you need. You just need to plot an area or what's displayed. Scale doesn't matter, it's just something for someone to mark up. This type of print is easy if you follow a couple of key steps. First, decide on what you're creating. I'll again choose a PDF driver as the device. The size doesn't really matter, but if you're going straight through the printer, you'll want to choose one that the printer supports. I'll choose 11 by 17. My scale doesn't matter, so I'll check fit to paper. That's one of the key steps. Another is checking the box to center on page. Finally, you'll need to decide on how to define the print area. In this example, if I choose extents, I'll get the floor plan and dimensions. Perhaps I just want the stairwell area. I could choose window. The dialog would briefly dismiss, allowing me to define the window and come back once the second point is selected. I'll do a preview again to make sure I'm getting what I expect. The print preview window will appear. It looks good to me, so I can go ahead and make the PDF file or send it directly to the printer if that's what I chose. Just remember, for quick unscaled prints or files, you can almost never go wrong by choosing the fit to paper and center on page options. You can find out more information, download their 30-day free trial, or purchase your own ProjaCAD license at www.projacad.com.